It's Dave Johar once again pleased to be joined by former world title contender, former Commonwealth British heavyweight champion and star of uh, Snatch as well. Uh, Scott Welsh, how are you Scott? I'm very well, thank you, yep. Yeah. Good, good stuff. Um, just out of interest, what do people know you more for now, the boxing side or or, uh, or, or that guy in Snatch, shall we just say? <laughs> I think it was a few years where I was known more for Snatch. I think it's kind of evening out again now, so... <laughs> Good yeah. stuff. So, you're training your son, Andy Durisvergo as well, over, yeah. in, over in Brighton. Yeah. Um, what's it like, first of all, training, training, um, training Tommy, who's a decorated amateur, um, in the heavyweight game as well, you were in. So, what, what's that like? Is it difficult or is it um, an easy transition? It's, um, I mean, obviously I've had him all the way through from the amateurs as well, so um, taking him into the pros, it, it, as we know, it's a, it's a fantastic game, it's an incredibly dangerous game, and, uh, and um, so we have to under fully understand what we're doing to, to take my son in there, you know, so, which I do. And, um, and we know all the risks and we've looked at everything and we've both decided, yeah, this is the route you want to go. Okay, but I have to be, I have to be a, your trainer rather than a father figure, so, um, and that's important, that, 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 that's a really important thing, I think. Uh, you know, you, we just spoke about Ricky tonight, obviously Ricky's got his son and it's, uh, it's, it's very hard to train the son, you know. But, um, but we've, we've been doing it for a lot of years now, so, uh, and he, he was lost for a few years from the amateurs and uh, now he's back and uh, he's, um, he's impressing me every week, so. Brilliant, and, and over in um, Brighton as well, you know, home, home of the Eubanks, so yeah. they, they, they pop their head around the corner as well, so it's a lot of experience in that gym, isn't there? Well, yeah, I mean, I've, I've ran that gym for 20 years now, it's my old amateur gym. And uh, I trained in there with Chris Senior back in the day, back in the early 90s. Um, and obviously I've had Junior in there since he was 15. Um, the whole family's been through, been through the gym. And uh, yeah, they're, they're great guys. They're, they're, again, a wealth of knowledge with Senior. And, um, and he speaks, he comes in and gives words of wisdom. And obviously Idris is, um, is uh, getting that, Tom's had that. So yeah, it's, 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 it's great. So. Yeah. And what kind of work are you doing with the WBC? Because I read somewhere that you're you're involved somewhat as an is it as an ambassador or, or an no, advisor? No, I'm the chairman of the WBC Cares in uh, in the UK. So um, we do great work with youths at risk, and uh, we're also doing wheelchair boxing, which is um, we're just about to launch to uh, 170 countries. So um, yeah, we're doing great work across the boards. Um, and uh, there's loads of new initiatives coming this year as well. And um, exciting times, we're, we're really pushing. So. Scott, being um, a man who was fighting in the, uh, in the 90s, you alluded to you know yourself fighting five times in, in two months, wasn't it, at yeah, one two, point? two and a half months, and I think. Yeah. What, what would you say the biggest difference is now with, with fights being made? Because we've seen with, obviously, the Tyson Fury and, and AJ fight being set back, Deontay Wilder with the arbitration. Would this kind of stuff have happened back in the 90s and, 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 and the early 2000s? No, I, think, I think in my day, you didn't really have too much of a say you know they'd tell you you're going to fight this guy and you could fight this guy so um, I think now there's there's it seems that there's a lot more um, obviously TV and the money makes you know it's, I mean the, the shows that Eddie's putting on are absolutely unbelievable so I think they, it's just the scale of everything I think there's not enough fighters anymore so there's not enough people in the game, the, bo the actual boxers, so it's harder for them and, and obviously they, they don't need to fight or they don't want to fight each other, but they had to fight each other back in the day, you know, so it's, it's been a dangerous game, I think we've learned from a lot of mistakes in the past, I think too many people have been damaged, yeah. too, many, too many injuries, too many deaths.
deaths. And I think we understand that now and we try and, in, in a roundabout way, I think we're doing it to try and do the right things and not to limit them numbers. We're, you know, we're always going to get them, that's the game we're in. We have to accept that, otherwise we don't come in the game. So we know the dangers. We come into the game, um, but we, we, you know, we've just got to kind of get through it. Um, and I think there's an easier route now. I don't think these guys need to put their lives on the line every time, you know. So that's where I believe we are. And just very finally as well, as, as someone who's been in the pro game for a, for a long time, a professional trainer, someone who's involved in the WBC, what are your thoughts of kind of like YouTubers having professional fights and challenging pro athletes and stuff? Do you think there's a, there's a need for that or do you, think, do you think it's kind of like a niche thing that might go away? I think they're here. I think they're, I think they're going to stay for a while. Um, you know, there's too much money out there. These guys are earning millions and millions. So um, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard because these guys seem to be kind of getting hold of the game and kind of doing what they want to do. You know, so you've got the comebacks from the from the older champs that are coming back. I think the numbers now, the world's a smaller place, so when you do something now, the whole world gets involved and, and, and sees it, whereas before it used to be like England or America, now the whole world's coming in and, and the scale of everything is just astronomical. Brilliant. Scott, thank you from the Boxing Voice, and uh, have you got any predictions for, for Saturday night? How's, uh, how's Tommy going to get on? Um, I believe we will win. <laughs> Good stuff. Thanks a lot, mate. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the patreon.com backslash the boxing voice. We have tons of exclusive from Border Wars, Entitled, Betting Shows. The list goes on and on and on. But in addition to that, if you guys have questions for fighters, trainers, or promoters, this is where you can submit them. We will run out, get these questions answered, and put it back on the show just for you guys. Appreciate it. Peace.